in this current era, the clinical trials that have yielded such promising results that certainly the patient community and, and the scientific community are very positive about the prospect of a successful gene therapy in the neuromuscular space. So it's quite an exciting time, but yet there are challenges that we face as a community. Um, we learned that today in the conference that was organized by the MDA to understand what challenges still exist in the gene therapy, um, the use of gene therapy in neuromuscular disease. MDA has been part of this journey from the very beginning uh, in many ways. In the early days of funding, the fundamental work that led to discoveries that are now in the clinic, and also importantly, supporting patients and families through the care center network uh, that are really the place to be for uh, families to receive multidisciplinary care and participate in clinical trials. The MDA will also, I think, play a really important role in training the next generation of physicians and providers at all levels who care for patients with neuromuscular disease. And that's something we really need to provide access to the broadest community possible, is having enough skilled, trained providers of, of these new technologies um, in the future. So I'm really excited about that part of what the MDA can do in the future, because they've always had a, an important role in, in training um, physicians and scientists and all the providers in the, in the neuromuscular space.